Over to Auburn, rubber match between Mississippi State and Butch Thompson's Auburn Tigers. No score, top five, one on for Jake Mangan. This one just continuing to tail and slice into left center. It would get down, that would score Tanner Poole as the Bulldogs go up one to nothing, breaking that scoreless tie in the fifth. Next up is Luke Alexander. Now, Belmont's L.A. doesn't really have major power. He's not known for that, but he leads the team in home runs, and he's going to add to that lead. His fifth of the year going to left center. That would take the MSU lead to 3-0 after five. Top six. I don't know if you noticed this, but all these runs are coming with two outs. The two-out hitting was really good from MSU uh, all weekend long against Auburn. That's Marshall Gilbert to left. Justin Foscue's going to score. Bulldogs go up 4 to nothing. But bottom six. The bullpen, much like it undid Ole Miss, it would undo MSU. This is Brendan Venter. Goodbye. Three-run shot to left. It's gone. Auburn would take two or three from MSU as they had a big sixth inning. They win it seven to five. The final Bulldogs will be back in action Wednesday at Memphis. Here's what the SEC standings look like as of right now. Florida. Not really running away with it. We're only halfway through the SEC season, but they're 12 and 3 as they had another sweep this weekend. Arkansas is at 10 and 5, and then maybe the surprise of the year is Georgia at 9 and 6. They're with LSU and Vanderbilt in a tie for third. Ole Miss hanging in there in a tie for sixth with Texas A&M. Kentucky is at eighth. Auburn, Missouri, South Carolina tie for ninth, and at the bottom right now it's Alabama, Mississippi State, and Tennessee. All three of those teams at five and ten. The Bulldogs, as we mentioned, will play Memphis for their week, their midweek game. That's coming up Wednesday at 6:30 from AutoZone Park up in Memphis. And then their Friday through Sunday series is 